The video you're about to watch is a preview from one of my fashion design courses available online at Fashion Premier Academy. Okay, back to our convertible color. The reason I was showing you all this other stuff with buttons and extensions and so on is because if you notice on the stand we have a button so we must have a button extension which we do not have on the mandarin collar see this piece it is the mandarin it's very very similar to the stand of this convertible color so i'm going to show you how you can take your mandarin collar right and turn it into a stand by adding an extension to the front section we add an extension and then from there, we'll draft our collar. Now, one more thing since I'm on that note. Notice one thing. Our, once we close our front, we button the shirt. Notice that the stand does cross over with the button extension. However, the collar itself meets right at center front. Okay? You can just trace the, the uh, mandarin color however when we get to center front okay remember we have to add an extension so again going uh, let's say it's a one inch extension right we have a one inch bud one inch extension so it looks like this again this is my center front here is my ex my button extension okay and this little curve we'll just trace this shape and just blend it okay we now have a stand for the convertible color and again this is our center front there's an extension the button would go somewhere in here. This is your button, right? So the size of this white blouse, the color is two and a half inches. So I'm gonna measure two and a half inches right here. So from this line here, I'm going to measure two and a half inches up and start developing and drafting the color part. And again, using our French curve and our tools, I'm going to blend this line and then decide on the shape of my collar. Now, I could cut this all in one piece, pretending that this seam, this line is not here. This would be one piece or I could separate the stand from the collar and have two separate pieces just like we have here on the white blouse. I have separated my collar stand from the collar. So I've cut the collar and as always we've cut two pieces, one for the top collar and one for the under collar. But in this case, we're going to make the top collar slightly bigger than the under collar. <clears throat> I'm going to remove one eighth of an inch, one eighth of an inch from the top to zero at center front. I have removed one eighth of an inch from the top section to zero at center front. So the smaller piece is my under collar and this is my top collar. These two pieces look alike, but they're slightly different, right? So in a factory, the seamstress has to know which one is the top and which one is the under collar. So the way we di differentiate is the top collar, at center back, we put one notch. Right there, see, at center back, one notch. Whereas the under collar, right, a quarter of an inch away from center back, we put a notch, so when we open it, you have two notches. So two notches tells me it's the under color, whereas one notch is the top color. Also, because we have a top color and an under color, we could actually have fun and be playful and have a contrasting color for the under color. 
And if you wanted to keep the stand and the color all in one piece, you basically cut all around without separating the stand from the color. And it would look like that. And the button would be right in the center here, right at center front. Okay, there's your button right there. Center front, there's your stand. And there's your color. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Check out all the courses available at Fashion Premier Academy by clicking the link below. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you will be notified when I post new videos, which is every week. I'll see you in class.